Hi everyone and welcome to my place. I love succulents, especially these types of little succulents. These little pearls are beautiful and I also like these little jade plants. In fact, I love them all. And you know, sometimes when you've got an area in your house that just needs a little something or the sun doesn't shine there, because you know that plants do need a little bit of sunlight, otherwise they go leggy and they get all yellowy on it because they need the light to give them the photosynthesis that they need. So I want to show you a great design, an easy design, and I also want to show you how to create your own container and you only need two ingredients, plaster of Paris and water. You'll need a mold and you'll also need something for the inside of that mold shape so that you can create lovely little things like this, like either a nice hanging one with a little bit of macrame around it or a little bowl or a little dish to hold your succulents in. Now, I was just going to use a bowl and then I thought, well, hold on a minute. How could I achieve a container that had some little ripply bits in it and a little bit of embossing on the edge of it? Can you see that there if I held that still? I really like this look. And I was thinking, what could I use to achieve something that's round, a little bit of rippling, and to have that little embossing on the outside of it. And then I remembered my trusty bathing cap from about 1970. I don't know why I kept it. I think I kept it because I did like the little flowers that were on it. And I might have even thought, oh, I could do synchronized swimming. Well, I'm not very good at swimming and it wasn't really where I was heading in my life. Flowers are my passion. So anyway, I looked at this and I just want you to know that for all of those years that I was in chlorine, look what it did to the cap. So I wonder what it actually does to people who swim all the time. So anyway, this is going to be my base and what I'm going to do is turn that inside out and put that into the inside of the bigger dish. The reason I'm doing that is because I want that rounded shape and I also don't want it when I put the plaster into it to be wobbling all over the place. Now if you don't have one like that look there are lots and lots and lots of these that I've seen. Amazon, all those places where you buy things online I've seen these, even your swimming shop. So you could use that if you liked but I quite liked it with those little leaves with the little dots onto it. So we'll just put that to one side. You also need another container to go into the inside of the first mould and you also need to cover it with some plastic food wrap so that when you it's set and you go to get this out it will come out quite easy. Now very and very very easy. Two parts plaster to one part water and you're going to mix this until you get a pancake consistency. So, just put that into there and I found it's much easier to put the plaster in first and I would suggest that you wear a mask. Then once you've got that into there it's just a matter of adding the water and the next thing is to just give it a good stir. Now the other thing that's really interesting about the plaster when it hits the water, oops, almost forgot to tell you, use warm water is the best and you do need to mix it quite well and it's just exactly the same as if you were making some scones or, or a batter for anything. It is going to get the lumps into it so you just have to Add the water slowly and stir until all of those little lumpy bits have been removed. And the lovely thing is, it's quite cold today here in the studio. As I'm mixing this, the heat's generating so that I'm, going, I'm starting to get a little bit of warmth. So with the warm water and the warmth of that hitting in with your plaster, Oh, it's getting, it's starting to just heat up. Now it's getting a few bubbles in here because I've been a bit rough, but that's okay. And as I'm stirring, I can feel that this, it's just a little bit too thick for what I want. So I'll just keep adding the water until I get that lovely consistency. Ah, that is looking good. And you get probably about 10 minutes working time with this. So, But if you get everything all ready before you start, then getting right down the bottom there, it's just a matter of just 
working your way through the process. And if you really like doing this, do a whole heap at once. These make fabulous gifts. Okay, right, into here. The first thing to do is you pour a little bit into there. Oh yeah, right. Pour a little bit in and then leave it for a minute or so. What we're trying to achieve here is a base because once you get, um, no, we're just gonna say we waited a few minutes for that to just, uh, and see what's happened here. Can you see that there? I've still got lumps into there, but I'm not gonna worry about those lumps because look, they'll just all just dissipate into the whole mix at the end of the day anyway. But it will probably, and it'll also be trial and error wherever you live because the, the warmth of the room will make this a little bit easier, make it quicker for drying. So okay, just give that a wee rustle, a wee sort of like move around into there. Then the next thing is to put your next, your inner inside. Now hold that for a few minutes and then to stop it rising to the surface, put in a few more, some stones into that and then just move it around until you get it to where it is. Now this has come, uh, hold on, if I go down there like that, you might be able to see it. Okay, so that's come up halfway. If you want it to go all the way to the rim of your container, mix up some more plaster and then add that into that. But when you're putting your inner mold in, Try not to push it down too far because if you go too far, you'll actually destroy the base and you're looking for a base of about half an inch to an inch so that it's nice and solid. Now, leave that alone and I leave it for 24 hours to make sure that it's absolutely cured. And then it's just a matter of gently pulling the center out. You might have to twist it, but because you've used the plastic film, it, it will be much easier to get it out. If you're finding it still too hard, just put a little bit of Vaseline around the outside of the um, the plastic and that will make it come out easier. As I said, 24 hours is the best time to wait and then you to make sure that it is completely dry and it's then just a matter of just peeling that off and then you will be left with this darling little container here. So the, that was two cups of plaster and just over a cup and a half, nearly probably two cups of water. So when I say it's two of plaster to one of water, it will depend on the mix from the poly interior plaster of Paris. So when once you've done and it's, it's dried out, it will take probably another week in fact, a really good, another good, good week for that to be completely dried off. Now, if you wanted to enhance it any further, my trusty tea, I love my trusty tea, you can just go over the outside of it and just give it a little wash. You could use um, chalk paint over the outside of it. You could spray it. You could do whatever you want to. And then I've just, you can buy these. I was going to show you how to make do macrame, but oh, look, it's just, it's a little bit too fiddly for me but once you've got it done look at that and that costs all of it I don't know it doesn't cost very much at all and I've only used a little bit of plaster to create this you can also sand this down if you find that it's got a little bit of dustiness or it's a bit rough around the edges you can just use a little bit of sandpaper and just sand that off now the next thing I've done here because I wanted just a lovely little standalone arrangement is I've just filled this the inside with a few stones and then just put the succulents on the top and then you could just put another one into there if you wanted and with this hanging one just a little bit of moss or whatever you've got and then they could just or some foam and they can just be all hanging down so if you need to put plants into an area where the sun doesn't shine and you know that they're not going to thrive I say that reaching for artificial is just fantastic I hope you've enjoyed this I've enjoyed sharing it with you and I look forward to seeing you another day